Hello, welcome back to the next video of this course. And in this video, we're going to see how to create your customized menu on Google Sheet. So, if you see this the file edit view, this is all the default menu which was added to Google Sheet by Google, and it's a default menu. So, if you want to create a customized menu like this, and you want to add it to the menu bar like this, then you Google has given a provision to create a, your own sub menu. So, to create your own customized sub menu, go to tools and script editor. And these are some of the functions that I have created to show you a demo. And if you're going to create a sub menu or if you're going to create a customized menu, it should go inside the function on open because the purpose of this on open is whatever the code that you have written here will be executed when you open this Google Sheet and it will remain same until you close the Google Sheet. And when you again open, this will get executed and it will add to this google sheet so this is the purpose of function on open so when you add your customized menu to the on open method it will be added to the google sheets when you're opening the file and it will be stay there until you close it so this is why i'm using a function on open and i'm going to add my customized menu to this google sheet so i will create an object ui and i will get the so i have to use a method get ui to create my sub menu and i have created an object UI to create my sub menu with help of this object UI and place it on. It will show you an option create menu, select that one. So this create menu will create a menu on a Google Sheet and it accepts a string as a parameter. Here you have to pass the name of your menu. So let me give it as my menu. So it will create a my menu like this. And once I create, if you place a cursor here, it will show a list of items here. So if you want to insert these items, I have to use an option dot add item. And item name should go here. Let's say menu item one. And if the user click on this menu item one, what is the function it should call? So I want to call this function menu item one when user click on this menu item one. It should go inside the double quotes. And I want to add another item. I will name this as menu item two. When user click on this my menu item two, I want to execute this function. So this is just show an alert and it will tell you which uh, uh, menu item was selected by the user. So whatever the function you want to call, you can put it here and you can just copy the function name and paste it here. So that function will be called when user click on the menu. So it will add like this. It will add a first item here, second item here. But if you want to create a sub menu like this, this is sub menu and this is an item which was added to sub menu so if you want to create a sub menu i have to use a method add sub menu and inside the add sub menu i have to pass a menu that i'm going to create so it's simply you have to go paste and i have to create a sub menu with the name my sub menu and once you create sub menu you have to add item to this sub menu to add item to this sub menu use the same method add item give a caption as my sub menu one 
and what is the function it should call? I want to call the sub item one function. And I want to add another item. Let's say this as two. That is my sub menu two and I want to call sub menu two sub item two function. So I've opened a parenthesis here. I will close that one here. So now I have successfully created menu item and the name of the menu item is my menu and it contains three item menu item one menu item two and my sub menu and if i click on this my sub menu it will show a two items inside the sub menu that is sub item one sub item two like this if you go and see i can see my sub menu and my sub menu item one over here and sub menu item two goes right here so i have successfully created but i have to use a method add to ui to add all these menus to my google sheet ui that's it you are done so when i click on it and save the script when i reload the script it's taking quite a bit of time So after my Google Sheet was successfully reloaded, you can see that my menu was added. That is my customized menu was added to this uh, menu bar in Google Sheet. And if I click on it, it will show my menu item one, menu item two, and it also created a sub menu which contained my sub menu one and two. So if I click on it, the particular function will be called. So you can see that it show me the pop up. I have clicked the first menu item one. And if you click on item 2, it will go and call the particular function. And if you call this one, sub no item 2, sub no item 2 is called that particular function will be called. Here. So, what are the functions you need to call to the particular uh, items? You can map that items, and this is how you can create a sub menu. And there's a one more thing if you see here. So, freeze comes in a one separator, and here the grid lines and protected range are in one separate top and this formula bar and show formula bar is not the separate top so to you can see the lines between the uh, grid color lines between the freeze and grid lines and if you want to create a separate top in menu you should use a method add separate top for example i want to segregate this menu item one two from this my sub menu i should add dot add separate task so it will add that separate line item that is uh, the particular gray line to um, my customized menu so when you reload that when you reload this custom menu you can see the gray line which was added to my customized menu So this customized menu will take quite a few seconds to load. So you can see that this gray line was added and which separate my menu items from my sub menu. So this is how you can create your own custom menu on Google Sheet menu board. So if you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.